Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be playing something a little different. It's not an MMO, but it's an open world survival game called Ark Survival Evolved, which is buy to play on Steam for around £20, so $30 or something. Also in this video I'm going to be doing a giveaway for this hat, which the guys at WASD Apparel were nice enough to give me to give away to one of you guys. So go check them out if you're interested in some gaming related merch, I'll put a link in the description below. So let's get into it. So I'm going to start out by doing a local game just so I can learn how to actually play the thing. Here you have a bunch of options such as difficulty level and a bunch of other things. I'm just going to keep it as the default settings and play single player. Okay so logging in for the first time, this is the character select screen, we're going to sort out our character. Give him a name and then choose a spawn point. That's one ugly guy. Look at my six pack. What the fuck have we just made? Okay everyone, meet Bob. As you can see he's been working out, he's got those toned abs. He's got fucking huge bottom half. Smallest head, smallest arms. Bob's a sexy man. I think we'll just go with the standard male. Unfortunately it won't let us choose a hairstyle, so rip. We'll just go with this one and we'll call him Lazy Peon. And we'll create a new survivor. Boom. Okay. Damn. The graphics look pretty nice. Okay, so there's a third person and a first person mode. Some big tower-like structure over there. So, as with most survival games, I'm guessing the first thing we need to do is punch trees and get wood and stuff. Okay, that hurts. I think E is the interact button. So, when we go near this plant, there's a little hand that comes up at the side, so I think that means you can interact with it. Level 1 Dodo, boys. I think we should punch this thing to death. Fucking die, Dodo! There it is. Okay, if I punch the Dodo, we seem to get meat. I feel safe out in this open area because I can see what's around me. Exploration! Ah, oh, nice, we got some wood. Sweet, so if we open up our inventory, Go to craftables, I think we can make a stone pick. And we leveled up, nice! So it's given us some things that we can level up. Health, stamina, oxygen, food, water, height, melee damage, movement speed, fortitude, or crafting speed. Melee damage seems like the one that would make the most sense, okay. So here we get engram points, and we have eight to spend. E this costs EP3, EP3. So that's the cost of learning these different things. So I'm gonna get a hatchet. And a spear, that would make the most sense as a new player. Guessing it's going to be useful for spears and stuff. Really? That big fucking boulder just destroyed itself? Okay, so we've been given a saddle. So apparently you can ride dinosaurs in this game, which sounds really fucking cool. Okay, this hatchet has given me lots of wood. Oh, I see. So I can eat these berries and it puts my food up here. So the bottom right hand side, it's got different little markers. I'm guessing the top one is your level, the next one's probably weight of your inventory, next one looks like hydration, food, energy? Energy and health. It seems like once you level up you get these engram points and you can learn it to unlock new recipes. So I guess we level up somehow, guessing by killing things. Oh, fucking missed. Die Dodo. Wow. Do you even spear bro? Have to say it's a beautiful looking game. I'm only playing it on medium graphics, so this on maxed out settings would look insane. Really makes me want to get a better graphics card. I think we should get our guy some clothes. Level 4, I think we can take him. Fuck, we killed him, that was easy. Ah, oh, he's not in the best shape, is he? Now he looks more like a survivor. Oh what, you can whistle? I think gathering actually levels you up. This is such a cool idea for a game, dinosaur survival. I love it. There we go, that's better. Look at that moonlight. Fuck it, we'll love our spear at him. Oh! Oh my god, it's got a fucking spear sticking out of him. Oh, that's brutal, dude! Ugh, die! I just need to put him out of his misery. Ugh. I think we're gonna lose this battle. I'm close to dying. Okay, I've got two more spears. Ready? Right in the head. Fucking hell, this thing's invincible! How many fucking spears does this dinosaur want to take? Four! Four spears to the head! Wow! Now he's got trees going through him, and he's still alive. Human feces. What can you do with this? Use human feces. What the fuck, dude? You consumed human feces! Why would he eat his own shit? Why is that even an option? Die, scary monster. 
Okay. What level is this carnivore? What level level nine? Fuck that. A door frame. That's roof. The door. There we go. That's a humble abode. <laughs> Awesome, we're safe. So the main problem I have with this map is it doesn't actually tell you where you are. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's enough room. I think what we're gonna have to do is extend this building and make it a lot bigger. We'll make it a four by four. Level two, I think we can kill him. Maybe not. You seem to need to gather a hell of a lot of fiber to make a lot of these structures. Place that wall there. Place the door there and that's our little home. There it is, that's a better home. Turn the lights on and we can get some sleep. What's the point in having a sleeping bag if it's not used for sleeping? If nine spears don't take this thing down, I don't know what will. Three, four, come on. Five, cheeky jab, cheeky jab, cheeky jab. Okay, he didn't like that. He's now busted free. <laughs> Die, motherfucker. Oh my god, we did it! Damn, that took some time. Right in the head, it'll die. Yes! Wow, right in the eye. That couldn't have been a more perf- Ah! It kept moving! That freaked me the fuck out! Frame rate drops a lot when it's raining. These fish are pretty good to kill. Fuck, I'm injured. Ah, oh, he got me. He got me. I'm fucked. Fuck! Rip. Respawn at sleeping bag. So if you die in this game, you kind of start all over. You keep your level, you keep every crafting material that you've learned. But you need to obviously gather everything again. Make clothes and all of that good stuff. So dying's kind of punishing. Right through the fucking eye. How is he not dead? Oh shit, it's attacking me. Wasn't pre I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared for a fucking flying monster attacking me. Run! Did not expect that! Oh, I killed it. The lighting in this game is just so beautiful. Feels like the world's alive. Level 3 will take him. Oh, he spat acid at me. We got him though. Okay. My person just loves to randomly shit all over the place. That's exactly what I need. Quickly dying from starvation. Oh, sweet. Now we've got some cooked meat. Big red dinosaur over there. Not sure what that is. Haven't seen one of those before. Ooh, that's fucking scary. Wow. Pretty sure these are herbivores. Ah! Fuck! It's fucking after me, dude! Run away! Oh my god, it's still coming after me. The bed of dreams. I bet this game gets so fun once you get to a high level. Did he just take a massive crap? Ah, oh, fuck! Fuck that, he just hit me to half health in one hit. Fuck that. No way! No way! No, no, no. Feels like the further you go on in this game, the more dangerous it becomes. So once I'm level 10, I unlock a bunch more stuff. Ah, it's a fucking spider! Oh! What the fuck are these spiders? Tyromanic drone. Oh my god, fuck off, T-Rex! Fuck off, dude! Get in my house. Shut the door. Shut the fucking door. Shut the front door. Are we safe? He's knocking my fucking house down. We're going to demolish this wall. And we're going to fucking run. We're going to run so fast. We're going to run for days. Why won't he leave that area? That's so annoying when you put a house down and a fucking T-Rex goes near it. You can't kill the thing. Maybe I need to build a second house. This T-Rex really did a lot of damage to my house. Fuck. Of all the times for it to go foggy, now is probably the worst time. Lots of meat from that fish. Just kind of kites him out of range. Can't quite get me now. Ah, poor turtle. You're too slow to defend your friend. I almost feel bad for those guys. I've gone from being the prey to being the predator. Oh no, he's- Whoa! He knocks me off a cliff. Oh my god, I am fucked. Yes, we did it. Level 10. Now I can unlock a lot more things and I've got lots of points to spend. Okay, so with these beds, you can fast travel between them. So it's a good idea to have different buildings in different locations to help you farm easier and explore more. Okay, so about two or three hours ago, I tamed this parasaur. And I thought I'd lost it because he was still on the floor sedated and it was still had the timing bar going up. 
And then some T-Rex killed me, so I gave up on him. Come over here, and apparently he's tamed and I own him. So this guy has just stood around for about two hours waiting for me to put a saddle on him. Bless him. What is with this shark? So this fish just decided to swim over here and get himself stuck on these sticks. Suicide fish. Oh fuck, what's that? Oh! Oh! Some flying spider beetle thing! Oh! Too spooky, dude! Too spooky, I've been poisoned! It's not looking good! I'm out of energy, I'm out of sprint. No! Fucking army of spiders on me, guarding my stuff. Take all. So this is what happens with these dinosaurs. If you kill one and their friend's near, their friend will help out. So these flying winged monsters here, which killed me earlier, they're really annoying because if you kill a dinosaur near them, then they'll go and eat all the meat off it so you can't farm it for hides. So you need to farm them quick. I couldn't get anything off those two dinosaurs I killed. Okay, let's ride the parasaur. Yes, we did it, boys! We've got a dinosaur! I've got a dino pet. Harold the Parasaur. And inside Harold, you can also store things, which is great. It must be low, low, low. Give daddy a kiss, Harold. Give daddy a kiss. There you go. Killing dinosaurs seems to be really good XP. I think it's actually the best XP. Oh, bro! Yes! That was a great shot! Fucking got him! Wow, this is a big spiky wall. Harold, I know it's a female. Leave it alone. Spike to the face. Harold, thank you! Look at Harold go, boys! Harold saved us! I'm almost dead. Literally starving right now. Come on, Harold! No, don't you hurt my Harold! You leave my Harold alone! It's not looking good for Harold. Come on, Harold, me and you. No! Harold! Harold died, boys! No! Rest in peace, Harold. You are a brave soldier. You fought valiantly. You protected me even when I didn't ask you to. Although I know you deserve a proper burial, it would be a shame to waste your hide. Parasaurs are fucking useless in combat. So when you're out in the wild, you want to throw a spear directly into your prey's head. Like so. On the occasion where your prey does not die from a spear to the head, you must ruthlessly hunt it down and finish him off. If your prey escapes, you're gonna have a bad time. Okay, our second dinosaur, we're gonna call him Leroy. I can't believe that just came out of your ass, Leroy. It's a fucking boulder. Okay guys, if you made it this far into the video and you want to leave a comment for a chance to win this hat, leave a comment with the word bananas in pyjamas in it and you will have a chance of winning this and I'll send it to you and get in contact and stuff. Okay? I think one thing you could possibly say about this game is it starts to feel a little bit grindy whilst you're doing certain things and farming resources. But it's something you expect in a survival game and it hasn't really bothered me too much. I'm guessing at later levels once you're getting close to level 60 I'm guessing it probably gets really grindy. Fuck this one! fuck is this dinosaur, dude? I can't even outrun it. Killed by a raptor, level 25. Great. I guess it's a good thing that you can't sleep in this game. So it does make it feel like more of a survival game. It feels more intense. You don't really look forward to night time. Come on. There we go. We've knocked him out. Brilliant location. There we go, we tamed the Parasaur. So we've got Leroy who's just leveled up to level 3. He's going to be my caravan. I'm just going to store all of my stuff in him. Because he has mad amounts of inventory space. And I've also got Gordon. He's going to be my mount just to get me from A to B. He's going to follow me into combat and be my trusty steed. Sweet, and now we are level 13. Wow, you can whistle to command your dinosaur. Perfect. Awesome, we did it boys, now I don't have to worry about Leroy getting killed. I love it when dinosaurs get trapped in a tree, it's just an easy kill. Ah! Random flying things. Fucking hell, been poisoned. We killed it, thank you Gordon. Gordon! Gordon, there's lots of them! 
Okay, awesome, level 15. Okay, I definitely want a bow, and I definitely want a stone arrow. That's going to make combat so much easier. I also want a dinosaur gateway. Taming dinosaurs in this game isn't as difficult as you may think. All you really do is you get the saddle for it by unlocking it with your engram points, and then you basically beat the dinosaur to death with your fists and knock it out. Then you feed it this berry called the narco berry, which keeps it unconscious. Then you feed it as much as what it eats as you can. So for a carnivore, you'd feed it lots of raw meat. And that's how you basically tame dinosaurs. It's a bit of a nightmare at night time though. So I'd always recommend get your taming done in the daytime. Because right now I don't know what predators are about. So I need to sit here and defend this guy. Okay, Henry. Henry, boys. Yes, Henry. Screw your head, Mr. Thing. Oh, wow. Wow, that was brutal. What the fuck is that? Hello? That scared the crap out of me. Should I kill it? Yes. Nope. 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 No, 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 no. I'm tired. Great time to be tired, bro. Nope. Nope. Okay, don't fuck with those guys. Just, just don't do it. Drag my own body. Well, this is weird. Ah! The fuck it? Why? I feel as though my vagina really shows when I play this game. There it is. Boom. Put the large storage box over here. Wow, you can store so many things in here. This is going to make my life so much easier when farming. Okay, guys, I've finally finished building my base. Now it's time for me to give you the grand tour. So out the front, I've got lots of spikes to protect myself against any random carnivores that may try to get in. This is the front entrance. Huge fucking dinosaur gate. It takes a lot of resources to build this thing. Come in here, I've got my three dinosaurs. I've got Henry, I've got Leroy, and Mr. Gordon. Gordon's the one I usually use just to run around. And inside here, this is my little safe house. I can use my bed to fast travel. There's my fire. I've got some torches around here. And here is my big storage box. So I no longer have to store any of my stuff inside the dinosaurs. So that's great. I've also managed to get myself some new clothes and a new weapon in the form of a bow and arrow. So I'm going to jump on a dinosaur, go out and explore a little bit more. Fucking hell, that is so much more efficient. What the fuck is this thing? Access inventory? Oh wow, this thing has loads of supplies in it. I have a feeling this is where most of the carnivores hang out. I'm really curious to see what this is. This area seems to be way more populated with dinosaurs. Oh shit. Wow, those flies actually killed the raptor. What the fuck? Okay, so you need to get lots of artifacts and random things, and then you can summon a brood mother. Whatever that is. I wonder if we can survive. Gordon, come on! No! No! Oh, he's made it. Gordon, you tank! Okay, guys, I feel like I've finally played enough Ark Survival Evolved to have a decent enough first impressions of the game. I think my character's at level 18 now, so he's close to level 20, and I've put in quite a lot of hours into this one compared to some of my other first impressions. So what we're going to do now is talk about whether or not this game's worth playing. First, we'll talk about the pros, the good things, and then we'll talk about the cons, the bad things. And then you can just decide if it's a game for you. Okay, so first we're going to talk about the pros. The game looks absolutely stunning. I've only been playing the game on medium graphics because my computer can't handle recording and playing it on anything higher at the same time. I really wish I had a better graphics card so I could play this game on ultra. Even on medium it still looks really nice, so great graphical fidelity. Also, the user interface is very easy to learn, and it's very user-friendly for beginners. It really didn't take me long to learn how to navigate the interface. The game actually feels challenging in PvE, especially at lower levels, which is something that some other survival games don't really have. There's been times where I've died over and over again to certain dinosaurs. I've got frustrated, but I've kind of got through it. And it, fe it feels like a really tense survival game, which is what I've been looking for. Unlocking recipes in this game feels really rewarding. There's also a hell of a lot of things that you can actually build and craft. And every time you level up and get closer to unlocking more recipes, it does feel really exciting. 
The pacing of the leveling feels nice, it's not too fast, not too slow, and when you do level up you have stat points to spend and it does feel really rewarding. Taming and riding dinosaurs is a lot of fun. Taming a dinosaur feels like it's a bit of a challenge at times because you need to run after the thing, track it down, punch it in the face and knock it out, and also have enough berries and stuff to kind of keep it sedated or whatever the dinosaur eats. Then you've also got to protect that dinosaur from predators that are going to take advantage of an unconscious prey. So that's something I've enjoyed. The world in this game feels huge and just exploring this vast prehistoric environment feels like a lot of fun. Progressing your character and building your base feels really addictive, well it has to me anyway. There's been times where I've just totally lost track of time because I keep saying to myself I'll just build one more thing before I log off. It feels like a real survival game and you really have to plan out your next move at times. Now for the cons. This game has really high system requirements and I don't think you'll be able to run it very well if you have a low end PC. I have a mid to high end PC with a 970 graphics card and I really felt the need to upgrade after playing this game. The game doesn't have any inbuilt tutorials so as a new player there's a good chance you're going to want to look online for guides and things just to help you get started because otherwise you're just going to be running around clueless as to what to do. It can get really frustrating at times once you've been out farming and then you come across a raptor or a t-rex and they'll just chase you and outrun you and kill you over and over again. You'll try and go back to where you died to pick up everything from your inventory but the monster doesn't seem to roam away for a long time so you're going to have a real frustrating time trying to recover those items. There's been a few times where I've just abandoned my body and just made a house somewhere else. The in-game map doesn't feel very helpful and I've hardly even used it because it doesn't tell you where you are on the map. So unless you've got a few points of reference then you're gonna have a really hard time understanding the map. It hasn't been very helpful to me at all. I'm not really sure if this is a con but this game's very open world and sandbox. You really need to use your imagination and set your own goals and objectives because the game doesn't do it for you. Some people won't like that but I myself really enjoy that aspect of the game. Overall Ark is easily the best survival game I've ever played and I've had a hell of a lot of fun playing it whilst making this video. I'm definitely going to keep playing Ark after this video has been released and see if I can get to the level 60 dream. Okay guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a comment below telling me what you think and also let me know what other games you want me to play in the future of this series. You take it easy and I'll see you again really soon. Cheers. Cleave it all down. Yeah, this is getting way more challenging. It's awesome. I like it. No! Mum! 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 Save me, Mum! Boom, GG. Oh look, we're going to the sewers again!